Hello there. Welcome to this last video on how cats get cancer. This video three, and in this video, I'll discuss common skin tumors in cats. Can you differentiate a cancerous growth from an inflammatory growth? Yes, you can. As I said earlier, cancers start from inflammation. Inflammatory growth turns cancerous to the time it is not treated. Two of the characteristics of an inflammatory growth is heat and pain. If I squeeze a red swelling on a cat's body and the cat resists, that's a sign that that is an inflammatory growth. Cats attempt to relieve pain from any part of their body by reeking or scratching the affected area of the body. If a cat is not scratching or reeking in the growth on its body, the growth is most likely a tumor cancer. I'm going to repeat that. If a cat is not reeking or scratching any growth on its body, the growth is most likely a tumor or cancer. What is the difference between a benign and a malignant or metastatic tumor? A benign tumor or growth is a, is a growth that is not spreading to the nearest tissues or distant tissues, organs. A malignant or metastatic tumor is a growth that is capable of spreading to the nearest or distant tissues and organs. Let's look at the mast cell tumor. That's a mast cell tumor right there. Right there at the end. Mast cell tubes, mast cells are immune cells that reside in the skin and the mucous membranes of the airways and gastrointestinal tract of the cat. Mast cells divide the body against its harmful agents like allergens, bacteria, and viruses. Mast cell tumors are the most common tumors, skin tumors in cats. They represent about 25% of skin tumors. Some of these cats are very prone to mast cell tumors. Most mast cell tumors are solitary nodules found on or under the skin, around the head, legs, or the trunk of the body. The clinical signs are always dependent on the progression of the tumor. Some cats are presented with small, freely moving tumors within or under the skin. Other cats are presented with large, ulcerated, and the hairless or hyperemic tumors. Mast cell tumors can metastasize the lymph nodes, the spleen, and the liver. Let's look at ferrin papilloma virus tumor. Right there. Papillomas are benign coliform like growth caused by ferrin papilloma virus. The other name is warts. Papillomas commonly occur single or multiple warts in the mouth, around the mouth, and sometimes on the cat's feet. The development of papillomas, the ferrin papilloma virus is a harmful agent or carcinogen that damages the cellular genes and triggers cancer. Papilloma virus occur in all species of animals, including people. However, each species has its own papilloma virus and is not transmissible to another species. Let's look at malignant melanoma, right there. Melanomas are tumors of the melanocytes, the cells that excrete melanin and give the skin its pigmentation and color. Malignant melanomas are common in the cat's mouth. Other areas where the malignant melanomas may occur are the mucocutaneous junctions, like around the mouth, the eyes, and the valve ribs. Skin melanomas may be benign or malignant. 
malignant melanomas may spread to the lymph nodes and the lungs. Melanomas appear as pigmented lumps that may breed out the late as they grow. It's common to find non pigmented melanomas that look red or pink. As we are veterinarian for onset, a vaccine that vaccine for malignant melanoma developed by me company. Let's look at the squamous cell carcinoma right here. What are squamous cells? These are the first cells that line the external body organs like the skin and the internal body cavities like the mouth, the digestive tract, lungs, and the urinary gland. Squamous cell carcinoma is a malignant tumor of the squamous epithelium. The cancer can spread to neighboring tissues but does not spread to distant tissues and organs. The skin, the oral cavity, and digits are the most common affected areas. Squamous cell carcinoma is the most common oral tumor in the cut and may affect the tissue in the mouth, including the gum, the tongue, the tonsils, the pharynx, and the lips. Squamous cell carcinoma is a cancer of body cast over 8 years. Squamous cell carcinoma may present as a channel crusted or deeply ulcerated growth or a raised lead cauliflower chip lamp. Plasma cell tumor or plasma cytoma. Put the plasma cell tumor right there. What are plasma cells or plasma sites? These are white blood cells that produce large amounts of specific antibodies against specific antigens. <coughs> plasma cell tumors can either originate in the bone or soft tissue like the skin. Those originating in the bone are referred to as solitary osseous plasmacytomas, and those originating in the soft tissue like the skin are referred to as somedulary plasmacytomas. Cutaneous plasmacytomas present as benign, aropisic, pink or red raised solitary nodules. Plasmacytomas may appear on the head. Excuse me. Plasma cytomas may appear on the head, the legs, the mouth, and other tissues of the digestive system like the colon. Hemangial sarcomas. Right here. This one is affecting the eye. The conjunctiva here. Hemangial sarcomas are malignant tumors that originate in the endothelial cells or cells that line the blood vessels. There are three forms of hemangial sarcomas. The skin form appears a red or black skin growth. This growth may ulcerate and breed. The skin form of hemangial sarcoma can spread to internal organs. The subcutaneous form of hemangial sarcoma can develop into a dark red growth and can also metastasize to other internal organs. The visceral form of the hemorrhage is a coma affects the internal organs and is the most aggressive type. The visceral form commonly affects the spleen, the heart, and the liver. Fibrosarcoma, right here. What are fibroblasts? Fibroblasts are cells of the connective tissue that support and bind separate tissues and the organs together. A fibrosarcoma is a tumor of the connective tissue, especially that within and under the skin. Fibrosarcomas are commonly found on the legs and the trunk of the cat's body. They can also be found in the nasal cavity of the mouth. Nasal cavity of the mouth. Fibrosarcoma is common in middle age the older cats. Fibrosarcomas appear as sicker or sometimes nodular farm swelling on, on or under the skin. The fibrosarcoma, the swelling, in fibrosarcoma, the swelling may open, ulcerate, and breed. Basal cell tumor, right here, this one is inside the ears, the ear thinner there. 
Beta cells are the foundation of the epidermal layer of the cat skin. Beta cell tumors are common in all the cats, the patient breed is most affected. Beta cell tumors are found around the cat's head, neck, and shoulders, but may affect any part of the cat's body. Beta cell tumors appear as single nodules, sometimes they are firm, pigmented, and often hairs. The tumors may become ulcerated with the time. How are cat skin tumors treated? Surgery is the standard treatment. That's the end of this video. I hope now you have a better, better grasp of what is skin cancers in cats look like and how they develop. If this video was helpful, subscribe, share it, comment or ask a question below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.